Hey YouTube, Susan here. Just thought I'd come out and stir me up some compost and show y'all what's in this bed. Now this is some compost has been in here a little bit. I don't stir it a whole lot, but I stir it. When the mood hits, If you look in here, you see there's quite a bit of wood chips in here because that's the way I do it. That's what my garden beds are. It's about half wood chips, half dirt. And uh, then of course I have the compost in there and I add extras if needed. But that's what I grow in, you see it works. Uh, see my tomato plants. Of course, my cucumbers were doing good till the powdery mildew got them, but uh, people say you can't have the wood chips in the soil or below the soil and your stuff grow, but I hadn't heard that, so I didn't know, and I put the wood chips on the bottom, then I mixed wood chips with the wood, or with the dirt, and I planted. I didn't have no problem so after I heard that you could not do this I'm like well what's the difference between that and Hugo culture I don't see a difference except this is chipped up and it's not a log either way it's rotten wood so I do it I don't know if anybody else does but I do and it works for me I'm trying to get one of his guns. Go. All I do is mix it up. Stir it in. Real good. And this is a shaded garden bed. And everybody says they can't grow in the shade. But I grow good in the shade. Uh, I don't have any problem growing in the shade. And as you see, I got worms. All kind of worms. I got worms in all my beds. <clears throat> so there's a supply of worm castings without working. And no, I don't sort this and sift it and get the dirt out. I just leave it like it is and plant like it is. And it uh, works fine for me. Works real good. put everything in here banana peelings coffee grounds coffee paper uh, any other peelings that I get off anything eggshells and I don't boil the eggshells I just throw them in there I used to heat them or boil them whichever and crunch them up and then I'm like I'm too lazy so I don't do that anymore There's a, a bottom on this bed so the moles don't come up in there because they will eat whatever you got growing. So, all the nutrition is coming from within this bed. And of course I have rabbit uh, pellets now that I can use and I do add those. Uh, as far as additives, Epsom salts, because all plants need that. Yeah, Epsom salt. And you see this dirt? Okay, dirt. Okay. Bed is not very deep. Not at all. It's settled. It will do that. But. Okay. 
See my hand? See where my hand is? That's how dirty it is, and that's wood chips and dirt and compost. That's all it needs to grow. You see my boat beds grow pretty good. Uh, one of the beds I mixed a lot of the wood chips in, and one I didn't, and they both did very well. Actually, they did about equally the same. So, to me, it doesn't make a difference. It works either way, but you gotta take care of it. You gotta feed it. You know, it's not just wood chips and dirt. You gotta use your compost. Any uh, manures that you might have, Epsom salts, water it. It's about all it takes. Just like with any garden. So I thought I'd share that with you. Thanks for watching.